coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right away. <laughs> ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team. And that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights out. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez, Oh, or it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Ebo Way. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. is palpable as this fight gets underway and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Blocks the shot. Big punch from the clinch. And he comes through with a big knee. Back and forth we go. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decided advantage in reach. And he 
and put it to good use. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting it down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? You're in the clinch. You can pull down on the head and land this beautiful punch to the head. Body attack and it's blocked. Over and over he lands with a big body kick. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a massive transition. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Misses with that punch. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Good fight here, under two to go. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, trying to pass here, as Wilbur Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are... Whoa! Left hook to the head, it's blocked. What an end to round one. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Just misses with the left hook. Beautiful kick. 
If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Real sneaky Right hand punch from the clinch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to green. Oh, comedy. Oh! Three minutes to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh! Unbelievable. Oh, serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Evil Lane. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.